Um, on tap next, folks, toasting in the new year. Of course, it's a time-honored tradition, but will champagne sales fizzle in these tough times? We're going to talk to Remy Quantro. I know my French is terrible. Well, regardless, she's the master of wine and spirits. Her name is Jennifer Simonetti Bryan, and she joins us for Happy Hour next. Guys, real headline from today, quote, there will be little celebration for champagne makers this year, end quote. Worries about champagne's troubles during the lousy economy are bubbling over, ba dum bum but they, are they accurate? Not Do they percolate house. accurately? <laughs> Jennifer Simonetti, the Brian Master of Wine and Spirits with Remy Control? Control. USA. Control. USA. She is here to help us decide if we should stick with the French for once and only, or if we can call any sparkling wine champagne because it's all good. Guys, welcome to the show, Thank first of all. So how about this? In, in what kind of an environment is, are the champagne makers telling us that, hey, we got to be all exclusive? Well, you know, the difference between champagne and sparkling wine, the reason why you would buy a champagne, first of all, champagne symbolizes luxury. You've got an authenticity. All champagne is sparkling wine but not all sparkling wine is champagne. But that's just it. In this environment, you said that it symbolizes luxury. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I want to symbolize luxury in 2009. Oh, I, I don't know. I think that, um, I think every day can be a celebration depending on how you want to do it. I mean, my husband and I, we celebrate with a bottle of Piper Heidsick at the end of the week because, oh, that week was just so bad. And, and this is not, you don't have to break the bank. I mean, Piper Heidsick over there, that's Piper Sonoma, but Piper, Piper Heidsick right there, that's about $35 a bottle. So, I mean, you're not talking true about... True champagne. That's true champagne, absolutely. What about this? This is so beautiful. Wow, yeah. now this is luxury. Sorry, Cody, you don't want it, I'll take it. <laughs> Sorry, you said you didn't want it. No, absolutely, this is beautiful. I mean, this is the rare, Piper Heidsick rare champagne. It has only come out seven times in the last 30 years. Wow. So, this is a special occasion that you're going to bring this out for. And the inspiration for this came from Fabergé because for the 100th anniversary of Piper Heidsick, which was in 1885, they decorated a bottle with jewels and diamonds. It was the most expensive bottle of wine in the world. And actually, that's where the inspiration for that bottle came you from. You know, Rebecca, the only time I've ever had Dom Perignon was when we had dinner here at the Bull and Bear one night last year. Remember that one? Yeah. Uh, Halloween, I believe. Nice. I, I, and I guess my question is, when do they run out of Dom Perignon? Um, Are there like 18 bottles left company. or something? Yeah. I can't. No, 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 not at all. Um, actually, Champagne's been doing really well for the last seven years. In fact, there was a time where we thought we weren't going to have enough supply. That's what I'm saying. Are, yeah. are they still bringing enough champagne Absolutely. online? Absolutely, they're bringing and, enough But champagne. Dom Perignon can never be made again, right? Uh, is no, there no, still no, a brand? No. I don't know how it works. No, 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 no. Dom Perignon is, is, is made every year like a lot of other luxury champagnes. Um, but actually, uh, like I said, you know, it's been booming the last seven years, and it's probably okay, you know. Can, can people tell the difference between champagne and the fake champagne, the sparkling wine? <laughs> it, well, you have champagne and it's all sparkling wine. The, pe the, the taste markers that you have for champagne, it's got a finesse, and you've got some biscuity, toasty aromas that cannot be replicated anyplace else. But for California sparkling wine, it can have some be really luscious. <laughs> Wait, before luscious you open that, Cody, opening we that. do have to say, though, you got to listen to Jennifer because she is one of only four masters of wine in this country uh, as women. female. Yes, female. that's right. And, and that, you had to go through rigorous testing uh, and you had to write a dissertation. It was a four-day exam, yeah. Wow. Oh, so yeah. she's one of only four female masters of wine in this country. So congratulations. Thank you. You're going to show us the proper way to open a bottle of, of champagne. champagne. Yeah, absolutely. Knocking out Cody's uh, right <laughs> well, eye. If you want to do it the NASCAR way, you know, you you just, you know, shake it up and you open it up and you that's spread it out. Cody I'm all right with that. Cody yes. way. Yeah, but really how you're supposed to do it, you're supposed to you're supposed to take the foil off and you're okay. supposed to have it well chilled. But every, you see a little twist tie here? Yeah. It takes six turns for every bottle. So one, two, oh, you did it a little bit I did here. a couple. Oh, I messed her up. I see, messed me up here. Okay, and you turns. put your thumb on the cork so you don't take anybody's eye out. You okay. Know, like a Christmas tree. I'm, I'm or still trying to be careful. Yeah, or, any, or anything. Champagne. So what you want to do is hold this, and the common misconception is that you twist the cork. Yeah. You twist the base, and you want to have a soft. Oh. Ah. Nice. Well See? done. 
Well done. Cheers, everyone. Thank you, Pe Jennifer. Piper thank you Heidson. very much. And uh, we'll, we'll be drinking champagne at my New Year's Eve party, time. that's for sure. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. I ain't doing no champagne and at my party. Remy. Well, I have a toast for you if you'd Remy like. Quantra, Qu Remy Quantra. Quantra. I, We got five seconds between oh, hard break to commercial. All of your joys be pure joys, but all of your pain, champagne. Beautiful. And traits to wake up to when we come back, guys. Stick around.